Welcome to OK Trailer Sales. You can find us at www.oktrailer.com. This is our winterization video, and today we are going to walk you through the steps of preparing your trailer's fresh water system for the winter to come. First of all, let's go through the tools and the items that you will need before you start. You will need a bypass kit for your hot water heater system. Most RVs that are newer are going to have this bypass kit already installed, and so this would just be an option. Second of all, you're going to need either a 7 8 inch or a 1 and 16 inch socket in order to get the drain plug out of the bottom of the hot water heater. Sometimes if you just have a plastic plug, channel locks will work as well. You will need a 3 foot half inch hose with fittings on the end of it to either adapt to a flow jet or a sure flow pump. And last but not least, you will need 2 gallons of antifreeze. Now the steps to winterizing an RV are first, you need to drain your wastewater system. You will have a gray water and black water tanks. Those need to be fully drained before you start this process. Second of all, you will need to drain your fresh water system. There will be a drain cap or a petcock valve on the side of the trailer, and you need to drain your fresh water tank fully before you start the process here. Third, draining your hot water heater system. This is where you will use your 7 8 inch or your 1 and 16 inch socket or channel locks. There will be a plug on the very bottom of your hot water heater. This plug will need to be removed and then you can flip the pressure relief valve at the top of the hot water heater and all the water will drain out of your hot water heater so that is empty as well. The fourth step is you need to bypass your hot water heater system. Now if you go to the back side of your hot water heater system and if there is a bypass kit already installed, you will just need to simply flip the bypass valves to allow the antifreeze to skip the hot water heater system and you will not have to fill your hot water full of antifreeze in order to bypass it. This allows us to use one to two gallons of antifreeze versus seven to eight gallons of antifreeze. Fifth, you can bypass your fresh water tank by simply attaching the three foot hose with fittings on it to the inlet side of the water pump or you can dump your antifreeze in the fresh water tank. That, this is just simply optional step here. Once that is all done, once your hot water heater is bypassed, your water pump uh, is either hooked up to antifreeze or you have antifreeze added into your fresh water tank. You will go inside the trailer and one at a time, and it's important we do this one at a time, turn on each valve. So you'll go to your kitchen faucet, turn on the hot. Once you see pink running, you'll turn that off and turn on the cold valve and wait for the pink to go start there. Then you'll go into your bathroom. Same thing there on your sink and also on your tub. And then another thing you need to make sure you do is flush the toilet. If you flush the toilet and hold that lever until pink starts running again, then you know you'll have your, your toilet antifreeze. Now each one of these systems is important to make sure you get antifreeze all the way through so you don't crack valves during the winter and get all the antifreeze through your lines. And the most popular thing that people forget when they're doing this is to go outside and check for an outside shower. If your RV has an outside shower, you need to also go out and open the hot and the cold valves on your outside shower to get antifreeze in there as well so you don't freeze those. Thank you for watching OK Trailer Sales winterization video. You can find us at OKTrailerSales.com. Please check us out from time to time. We'll continue to give tips on how to maintain and take care of your RV as well as camping tips.